Hello. This video will show you how to do a medication reconciliation in inpatient scenarios so that it meets national patient safety standards. Before we demonstrate how to do a med rec for an inpatient, it is important to cover the five steps that make up the national patient safety goal number three, which defines what is necessary to constitute a valid med rec process. Patient safety goal number three has five elements of performance or EPs associated with it. Missing any one of the EPs would constitute a failure during a Joint Commission audit. Essentially, all of these EPs can be simplified into the following process. First, print the patient's medication list. Then, have them review it and make any changes to it. Have a staff member go over it with them to verify their changes and then enter them into their medical record. Give the list to the provider for verification and to add any new meds to the list. The provider then discusses with the patient the importance of managing their meds and gives them the corrected list of medications to take with them. The provider then documents that they did the reconciliation in the patient's electronic medical record. Now that you know the official requirements, we will demonstrate the process using a centris. These processes cover every EP and if followed will pass any Joint Commission audit. Once you've opened up a centris and found the patient's record, Open up their note list, and if there is not already a MedRec note that has been started, click on New Note on the far left of the icon bar to select a note type to create. When the Select Note Type window appears, do a search for Medication Reconciliation. Select a new MedRec form that is designated by the asterisk, and then hit OK. Please note that using this form will auto-populate your HP, the nursing assessment, and the discharge summary. When the MedRec worksheet appears, fill out the patient information as indicated. Please note that even though there may be allergies listed in the next section, these have been auto-populated from CHCS and Alta, but are only for display purposes and are not data that is readable by a centris. Therefore, it is important to add all of the listed allergies and any others that the patient mentions so that a centris can create and display any drug allergy alerts. In the next section below allergies, Check the appropriate box as to whether the patient is taking any over-the-counter medications, herbal or dietary supplements, or meds prescribed from a local provider. The next section down will have any meds that have been entered into CHCS or ALTA. It is then up to the provider or attending caregiver to ask the patient to verify the list. When the box is clicked, it confirms that they are currently taking the med. Not clicking the box automatically documents that it is not currently being taken. The dosing instructions can be entered by anyone, but only the provider can enter data into the inpatient plan field. Remember that if they are a same-day surgery patient, that CHCS or ALTA will not have auto-populated any of the fields. Therefore, in those cases, all of the meds will need to be entered manually in the next section. Many medications do not auto-populate or the patient is taking medications not listed, such as over-the-counter meds, herbal or dietary supplements, and so on then they will need to be entered into the section further down labeled as Additional Medications. This section allows the user to either choose from a drop-down menu of formulary drugs or to simply type the name into the field. The rest of the boxes and fields still need to be filled in as required. When completed, the MedRec form must then be signed at the bottom as indicated. Upon discharge, make sure to use the appropriate type of discharge summary. This may be the multi-D summary or a standard discharge summary, depending on the nature of their admission and the length of stay. Please follow your clinic SOP for these requirements. Under the Medication section of the Discharge Summary, all pre-admission medications that were marked as Currently Taking will auto-populate. Indicate your discharge plan for these medications and write the dosing instructions, route, frequency, and purpose in layman's terms. For all new medications, check the New Medication box and fill in the form appropriately to include the same information. It is important to remember that verbally counseling the patient about their medications upon discharge is required to meet patient safety standards for medication reconciliation. Thank you.